through their careful farming methods. Vishnoi women share the burden of agricultural work. In the villages, they are a force to contend with, both within and outside the community. Over the centuries, they have become the fiercest protectors of the land, the trees and the animals. In essence, of the religion which has provided their families with a prosperous livelihood. According to Bishnoi tenets, a Bishnoi woman is expected to maintain a 30-day postnatal quarantine and a 5-day menstrual quarantine. Apart from that, there is very little that can keep a Bishnoi woman from her community role. Many local anecdotes talk of Bishnoi women who have dragged poachers onto the street and beaten them up, especially if they are misguided Bishnoi men. Within the community, the word of a woman is respected, accepted and acted upon. Sant Jambeshwar had repeatedly said, there should be a noble and respectful relationship between men and women. Vishnoi women can be visibly impressive about some things and quite simply ignorant about others. Jambeshwar's teachings say, Filter water and milk with a cloth. Before use, free all water, milk and fuel of living things. This was in an age when the microscope was not invented, nor bacteria discovered. For these illiterate women, microscopes and bacteria still do not exist. And so they happily follow filtration as a religious practice. Like most women in India, Vishnoi women also spend a large part of their day collecting water and fuel. But the search for fuel is characterized by an essential difference. A Vishnoi woman does not cut fuel wood. Instead, she walks near lakes and grazing areas for hours, looking for dung.